know, people were saying it's dangerous in Louisiana. They were saying a bunch of shit about Louisiana, you know? Yeah, I just uh I just had a show out there Saturday night. So, so I wanted to ask you about this dude who's repping for Louisiana, bro. Who? Cool. Uh New Orleans. I wanted to ask you about King, Kid Kid. Oh my god, yeah, King. What is up with this dude, man? He's putting a lot of dirt on the jacket of Louisiana. Man, say brown, no brown, no. And he just like, like, he just borrowed up from somewhere, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know what's up with homie, man. Like, I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you from out there? I don't, I don't know. It's like, it there, like, when I, when I first started hearing about homie, I think the first time I heard about dude was like, was when he got beat up in Atlanta or something like that, some shit like that. And you know, it was like, you know, they were saying, hey, from New Orleans. And you know what I mean? So I'm like, the fuck? You know what I mean? But I don't, you know, I don't really know dude. You know what I'm saying? For real, even. But a lot of the, like, the moves that he was making, you know what I'm saying? But see, that's that clout shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. that clout shit is real, bro. And a lot of these, especially like, like the little young niggas. You know what I'm saying? For real, you hear me? Like they don't care if, if, if the if they fucking name is getting put out there in a bad way. Long as they feel like they famous, right? You know which what I'm saying? Why, which is why he tried to copy like Little Wayne and Birdman by kissing his friend. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he was doing it, man. Niggas don't do that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, like niggas don't do that shit, man. You know what I mean? For real. Like, it, it, at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to, like, sit up here and be like, oh, he gay and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I could tell and, and I know that niggas do certain things just for image type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just like 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 with Thugger, right? Like Young Thug won the dress. But he won the most gangsters nigga in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I could say, bro, like I never forget, like I could recall like like me and Young Thug, bro, like years ago, like before the fame and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like he was thugged all the way the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? Like real talk. You dig and then when he finally like got in like, you know, got in, got on. You know what I'm saying? And you know he was doing a lot of like a lot of like the weird stuff. I was like, you know, you know, like you hearing people, oh man, he gay. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, that nigga ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like you did, cause I know it was up a dude. You feel me? And that's the thing, man, like, like that for fame, bro, like people would do anything for it. You know what I'm saying? Just just for the attention. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just for the attention, bro. Like, and that's the world we living in right now. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. the world we living in right now, bro. Like, people would probably fucking cross their own mama, bro, just for a fucking a million likes and going viral. You know what I'm saying? Niggas would go and slap their own mama and shit. Like, just dumb shit, man. So, yo, Kid Kid, you're saying, like, back then when you met Young Thug, he wasn't doing none of the ridiculous type of shit that King is doing to get on the internet and get on world stars. Hell, hell nah, man. <laughs> hell nah. Hell nah, homie. What? Like, I ain't know homie was on some rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like that. Like, it was one of them, one of them cases. Like, I, I went in a, uh, I think it was, it was a studio I went in. You know what I'm saying? I was with a, I was with the rich the kid. You know what I'm saying? Um, we went in there though when like they was doing the, the running around the lobby shit. You know what I'm saying? With Pee Wee Long Way and all the niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And uh, I went to the rich the kid one time. And you know, like and all them niggas just was, you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like you know, that can add body niggas scrapped up niggas. You know what I mean? Too. I'm like, shit, man. I got my fucking strap because I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know niggas like that. Just and that. for real. Like, like it took for, it took for, like, like a few years later and down the line when Thug started doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? With the, 
with the stoner record and shit like that and all that. Loaded. And, yeah, and they started telling me like, yeah, man, you don't remember dude when we went to the studio that time and you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, like down the line and, and you know, when he uh, started doing the shit like with the dress shit and all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody was like, oh, da da da. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was always like one of them people, like, bro, nah, bro, you know, do me on some, you know what I'm saying? Or some shit. Because one thing about, like, like if you, if you respect it in your city, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, people, people gonna, people gonna put respect on your name. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, no matter what, you feel me now? You know, a lot of people, Ain't gonna agree with certain things that you do, you know what I'm saying? But niggas still gonna, you know, put respect on your name. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like I never put on no motherfucking dress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Did like people do? Like everybody got their own way of fucking doing the shit, man. Like, like I say, man, it's the it's the it's the attention thing and the clout thing. You know what I'm saying? But with the king, man, I really feel like he he. He doing too much and the way that he carry himself, that's what brings all that negativity and all that shit to him. You know what I'm saying? For real, my nigga, like like bro, I move around all all the time, bro. Like city to city, shows, whatever, bro. I don't be with a million niggas. I could bring a million niggas if I want. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be with a million niggas, bro. Like it'll just be me. Probably, you know what I'm saying? Like my DJ and you know what I mean? Probably like two of my partners or something. You know what I'm saying? You did because I care I carry myself with respect, bro. You know what I'm saying? So for real. Kids, I actually just did an interview yeah. with I actually just did an interview with little Marcus. And you know, you know, basically little Marcus is the guy who chased King. He didn't even really chase him down. He kind of scared him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So King at this point in his career, he really had an opportunity. You know what I mean? He was probably selling his features. He was probably attracting attention. But when this dude called him a bitch to his face and then sort of lunged at him a little bit, King just started running and, and got scared. He gave away his whole career in that one video, Kid Kid. Let's say if he just would have been like a chill nigga or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And not with all the extra ass antics and you know what I mean? Cause when you when, when you carry yourself like that, bro, everywhere you go, somebody gonna wanna try you. You know what I mean? Like everywhere you go, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what everywhere you go, you know what I'm saying? Last time he was in the city, I think a nigga shot him. You know what I'm saying? Like everywhere, everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody gonna try you, bro. You feel me? Like, all this shit is about, like, how you move. You know what I'm saying? How you carry yourself. For real, bro. Like, like a nigga like me, right? Like, any nigga in my city that tell you, bro, like, I did everything in my city but leave in a casket. You know what I'm saying? But you don't see me acting like, oh, I'm the toughest nigga in the world. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, with all the extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Showing guns all day. And, you know, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't with that. Like, a lot of the new shit these niggas be doing to try to prove that they tough to a bunch of motherfuckers they don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Especially with him showing all the guns, you know, acting like he's such a tough guy. To get put in this position with little Marcus... Like all he had to do was fight. All he had to do was fight to literally save his face, and nobody would have been trash talking him. They would have been like, "At least King fought back." Yeah, that's the thing too, man. Like, you know, you gotta you gotta stand on whatever you say out here these days. Like, real talk, you gotta stand on. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you gonna be like, oh, "I'm gonna shoot a nigga," or oh, "I'm gonna do this," if a nigga, you know what I'm saying, do that. When you get put in that position, everybody looking and waiting to see if you're gonna do what you actually say. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? in the interview with little Marcus, I was like, you know, man, if if young thug was put in that position with a guy coming up to him and trying to film him and he caught him off guard, young thug probably would have fought. 
Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have fought. Uh, who was around him would have fought. Uh, right. whatever. You know what I'm saying? I seen like he want to be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like if for like King, like you know what I mean? Like you want to be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like, like rep the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you like if you 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 know you repping that no shit, bro. Like. Rep the N.O. to the fullest. Be all the way New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like, dog, like, nigga like me, bro. Like, I don't sound like nobody, dog. I don't try to be nobody else, bro. I, and I ain't trying to do what the next man doing. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. Like, like, and that's how real, that's how real New Orleans niggas is. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. We, we is not like nobody else. You know what I mean? Like, like real nigga shit, right? I'm, I'm going to give you a fire difference, right? Everybody from, let's say, Louisiana, Mississippi, Atlanta, Alabama, you feel me? All them, look, all them talk the same way. They got the same, you know, like the, the same, like, grammar and everything about, you know, the way that they talk, right? But us in New Orleans, we don't sound like them. You know what I'm saying? And we right there. You know what I'm saying? We right there in the middle of all that shit. You know what I mean? But we don't sound like them. You did? We don't talk like them or that. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, like, a lot of that shit just be, like, you did? I don't know, man. Like, niggas be, niggas be, just just because you live in the city don't mean you from the city, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>